Hello everyone and welcome to the Twin Flame reading for August 1st to the 15th. Um, as always, this is your masculine and this is the feminine. Of course that varies, it doesn't always uh, apply to gender. Uh, femin females could have masculine qualities and vice versa. Before we start, I just want to thank you all for coming back to my channel, for subscribing. So if you do like my videos, do hit the subscribe button and do click on a like so I know. Um, please remember that these are all general readings, so they may not all resonate with you. If you wish to book a private reading, you can um, uh, via my website, naturalvibrations.in. All details will be listed below. All you have to do is click on the PayPal button uh, and then send me an email with uh, your situation. I don't always just do twin flame readings. I do all kinds of readings and as well as EFT sessions via Skype and holistic counseling via Skype. So, you know, feel free to look into all of that. All right, cool. Let's jump in. The first card for the masculine's um, spiritual place, a plane, sorry, is never ending story. Now, never ending story basically means that the masculine is sort of stuck in a loop. The other two cards we have is attraction. Can you see that? I'm sorry if you get a glare. And let go of control issues. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and allow the situation to unfold naturally. So what's happening in the masculine's um, mental space, sorry, a spiritual space, I apologize, is that he does feel an attraction towards his feminine but he's sort of stuck in the past. He's stuck in this, um, this old, the old story, the old loop, the old energy. He, he does feel this attraction, but he doesn't really know how to deal with it. So he's really, really trying to control things. He really wants things to go his own way. Maybe he's trying to forget the feminine. Maybe he's trying to get the courage to talk to her. Whatever his, uh, wherever he is at, he does feel an attraction, but he's reminding himself of the old story. He's going on telling himself that, no, this will not work out. It didn't work out in the past. Maybe it won't work out now. And he's sort of stuck in an old, like, loop. You know, he's, uh, he needs to start getting out and start thinking about what he truly wants and start, you know, remembering that that was in the past and this is now and your relationship is not going to be the same and it's going to be better because both of you have healed but he's still stuck in the past a little bit and that's why things are not really moving for him spiritually because he's confused he's again stuck he does feel this attraction but you know he just can't let go he can't let go of the old stuff he can't let go of the old past he's not willing to let new energy in the feminine in her spiritual side is got, has got lovely cards. She's got flexibility, which is amazing. She's trying to be really flexible. She's got retreat and she's got engagement. Now, this means that the feminine is sort of toying with the idea of what is going to happen. She is being open. She's open spiritually to everything. She does want the masculine to make a move. She does want her relationship with the masculine to move ahead to a higher level. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And that is what she really wants. And she knows, a part of her knows that that's what's happening. But she's not trying to force it. You know, she's trying to be flexible. She's trying to be open. She doesn't you know she's sort of trusting in divine timing she's trusting in the divine order she's trusting the universe and right now she's sort of just taking time off she's disconnecting from the world retreat is time to disconnect from the world so if you know the feminine are are kind of already decided that they know this is going to happen but they're not getting too hung up on when sorry when where how and because of that you know, they're sort of taking some time off, they're sort of chilling and they're doing their own thing. They don't, they're not worried about when it's going to happen or why hasn't the masculine reached out. In a spiritual uh, uh, plane, she's completely, you know, relaxed and that's a really good thing. She already knows that it's going to happen, but she's leaving up to the timing and the way to the divine. 
When it comes to the masculine's emotional level, we've got unfinished symphony and deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So emotionally, the masculine, they know that things aren't finished with the feminine. You know, they know that there is something left that you know people come into our lives to you know to push us to make us learn lessons to really test us because that is what we need and he knows that this story with the feminine isn't completely over he knows there is something more left to do but he's wearing a false mask he doesn't want to believe it he's pretending you know emotionally that that is not the case that that everything is over with the feminine and she doesn't mean anything to him but Deep down, he does know, <coughs> excuse me, deep down, he does know that things aren't over. And that's why he's sort of like in, in this state of confusion because he knows it's not over, but he just doesn't want to face it. So he's trying his best to cover that up with this false mask, this false pretense that things are not, things are not going to actually work out. And that's an old story. And, you know, going back, that's an old story. She's going to be the same. She's not going to change or whatever it is that he has issues with. He doesn't want to believe that there's something left to happen. The feminine, once again, has beautiful cards in her emotional. She's got building blocks and healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So emotionally, the feminine know that everything that is happening, the healing, the, the work she's doing on herself, whether it's healing past wounds, healing family issues, healing her own self, she knows whatever she's working on are building blocks to a better future. So the feminine understand what is happening. They are completely in tune with the divine order. They know that right now, all the work she is doing is going to lead to something big. It's, going, it's a stepping stone. It takes time, you know. Things are like cyclical. It, it, uh, they, go, they keep swirling up, but that doesn't mean they're not happening. Just because you can't always see movement in the physical sense doesn't mean it's not going to happen. So the, the feminine know this emotionally. They know that everything they're doing is working, is helping them, especially the healing work that they're doing on themselves and their family issues and their past issues are helping them get to where they want to go. They're just building little building steps, you know, little uh, building blocks, getting them where they want to go. The masculine in the mental energy, again, has a little conflicting energy. So if you see, they got sort of very conflicting energies going on in the masculine. They're sort of just going back and forth. In, in the mental energy, they have heart-to-heart -heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other, and time for a nap. The masculine wants to talk to the feminine. They want to have a heart to heart. They want to pour their heart, heart out. They want to tell the feminine every single thing that they're feeling, all their doubts, all their fears, all the love. But it's too much for them. If you look at the mentor, you know, and the, and the spiritual, they've just, they're sort of stuck in the, in the past and they know something is not done, but they're wearing this false mask. And that's why, even though they want to have this heart to heart, heart conversation, they're just sort of retreating time for a nap. They're just so mentally exhausted that they don't know what to do. So they're just taking a nap. They're just taking some time off. They're retreating. It's just, you know. They're just keeping quiet right now because they just don't know what to do. They want, they are so scared that the past is going to repeat itself, that nothing is going to change, that they're wearing this self, you know, you know this, this mask, and they can't have the conversation they want. So they're just sort of taking time off. They're just like, you know what, it's too much. I can't deal with it. I'm just going to, you know, take a nap, basically. The masculine is sort of like copping out in a way. And the feminine have ying, they have religious factors, your love life is influenced by your spiritual upbringing and spiritual path and unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Now in the mental uh, thing, in the mental plane, the feminine are, are open to receiving. Right now, they're not really doing anything. They're waiting. They're, they're waiting for the, for the masculine. They're waiting for the divine to do the work. Right now, the divine and the masculine are 
in, on a mission. They're trying to figure out how to get things ready for the feminine to get her, get her partner back in life. So right now the feminine are just waiting for and receiving. They're waiting for the universe to give them signs, for directions on what to do. They're waiting for the masculine because they know that that this, you know, there are spiritual factors in play here, which also means believing in all of this. The twin flame journey is a spiritual path. If you truly believe in it, that means you are believing in the spiritual path. So that does mean that you know that you know already that the reason you're waiting is because you you know that this is what you need to do. So mentally, the feminine are prepared to wait. They know that right now things are being worked, the building blocks are happening, the masculine is being worked on, and you're working on your issues. And they know that eventually it will lead to a higher, you know, the higher level. But right now, they know that this is the path they have to take. They know that right now, you know, the, the divine is working, the divine's actions are at play. However, unrequited love. There is a part of the feminine's mental energy that sort of doubts the union. Now, most of them believe that this union is going to happen mentally. However, some of them, or maybe everyone at some point or the other, starts doubting. Maybe they think that this actually is so funny and I see this. <clears throat> Before I do a reading for you guys, I do a reading for myself just to make sure I clear my energies and it's funny, this card did not come for me, but it actually resonates with me a lot because yesterday I sort of had this moment of maybe this person doesn't truly care for me and maybe I need to like just honor what's happening and face reality as they say. I mean, it was like, I mean, my, my body didn't let me believe it, but my mind was trying to prepare myself, sort of like a defense mechanism, you know, it's your ego trying to shield you. So I, a, a part of me wanted to be prepared that maybe I'll be waiting forever and I'll waste my life just waiting for somebody who may not even give, an, give a shit about me, may not actually even be thinking about me. And all of this is just, you know, in my head, which, Okay, that's like, that, that feeling didn't last very long for me, but I did have this period of doubt and every so often it does come up. So I'm sure some of you may also be feeling this, that you know the twin flame journey, you know how it is, you know right now you're receiving, you know work is being done, but sometimes a part of you may actually doubt all of this. They may be like, you know, maybe this guy is just an ass. Maybe he's just a jerk who does not give a shit about me and that's why he's not returning my calls or not responding to me or not keeping in touch. I mean, not everybody, not all exes, you know, keep in touch, but exes don't have to always be on silent mode, you know. None of my exes have been on silent mode. So for me, that was the feeling that popped up that maybe he's just a jerk and I, you know, I'm giving him too much of the benefit of the doubt. But what the universe wants you to remember is that this is what's happening. Right now you're waiting to receive because work is being done. Look at what the masculine is going on. You've got so much work happening right now. You're also healing family issues. You need to remain flexible because spiritual factors are at play right now. So try to get rid of this doubt if you can. When it comes to the masculine's physical, we've got treasure island reversed and passion. Allow your heart to sing, your heart and soul to sing with joy. So again, I feel like masculine's reading is so conflicting. The masculine, I feel, are very conflicted. You know, and they seem, their energy, I feel like they're so, they're confused. They're confused. They're not been able to get total clarity on what they truly want to do. The Treasure Island Reverse basically says that they are coming from a poverty mentality, you know. If you believe in energy, I've mentioned this many times, law of attraction is you got to give what you get and what you get, you know you get what you give sorry and if you believe that something is not going to happen that this relationship is doomed or this person is a particular way then that is pretty much what you're going to get because that's the energy you're giving out so the masculine even though they feel passion and they really want to just feel this passion for themselves for their life for their love life for their partner they just can't. They're right now doubting. Again, they're doubting. They feel that in the past it didn't work out, so now also it won't work out. That maybe part of them feel like they don't deserve love. A part of them feel that their feminine is not good for them. I mean, there's so many things, but they're not coming from a mentality, from a from a place where they feel that they can get anything you want because 
everyone can get anything they want for, if it's for their highest good but you really have to be positive and you have to do the work and I feel the masculine are not positive at this moment they don't believe this is going to happen so they're coming from a very negative play they're coming from a poverty mentality the feminine on the other hand are coming from a very good mentality so the feminine are actually a very good place except for a little bit of doubt the masculine are completely messed up right now so they've got serendipity which means things happen you know amazing things happen when you're not you know when you're not so attached to them so a lot of feminine are seeing how things are lining up maybe they keep seeing their their twin flames names popping up maybe there are things that remind you of them or maybe you know you, you even in your general life they might notice that things are popping up and things are happening when you just think of them say you're thinking of joining a yoga class and suddenly somebody mentions hey by the way my friend is running a yoga class or whatever so they are noticing that in their love life as well uh, serendipity is happening uh, you know things are working out Synchro uh, synchronicity I don't know why I can't say this word I'm really sorry but things are like aligning up and uh, they are noticing this and they do believe that they're heading to into towards union with their twin flame in the physical plane the feminine are convinced that they're gonna you know this is the wedding card so they believe that they're going to get union with their twin flames and they've got very soon clearly decide on what you want so that it can come to you now in the physical the feminine are hundred percent convinced that they are that things are going to work out between, between them and their masculine and their twin flame because things are they, you know they're getting little evidence little little notes and evidence from the universe that things are working in their favor and that is going to happen very soon but the masculine are still very very confused so till this sorts out i feel that that's going to be you know some more time it's going to you know, it's going to take but I feel like the, a lot of the feminine are really ready for union um, you know just with a little bit of doubt but most feminine do believe it's going to happen soon and it could these cards are for the union this is uh, the dragon fake card and now we have the fire prince this is the advice so let's start with the dragon fake card the dragon fake card we've got Andel emotional flow so as you know, I always read this from the book, so I'm just going to do that. All right, from the book. People always imagine that we are, we are who, that we who are of the dragon fey have special powers that render us immune from sadness. Not so. From time to time, I have found my own sadness overflow. And it is at those times that I need to return to water, to commune with that element in wisdom that I am calm, soothed and refreshed. At this time I understand that there is sadness and a sense that only after some time will you feel strong again. This sadness is held at the heart and solar plexus chakras and feels a little like a stone that has been swallowed, harsh and heavy inside your sweet self. Know that simply by going towards the body of water, this can be your bath, a lake, river, pond, or the, or even the oceanic majesty, you will be soothed. Know that as water takes on the characteristics of the environment, so too will the dragon fay of the water come to you, gently dilute and dissolve the sadness that is weighed down so heavily upon you. Also, allow your tears to fall at this time. There are make, there are beautiful they are a beautiful way of reducing high levels of strong chemicals within your body. And shielding them leads you to feel softer and lighter. Sorry, shedding them. Take steps at this stage to protect and soothe and know that all spirits of water are your allies. So allow tears to fall, bathe in the water of the goddess, and drink plenty of pure fresh water. Sensitivity is yours and, your, and, and will be yours for this lifetime. But how you use this gift can either, be, can either cause you pain or the most wonderful pleasure. Please seek to allow your sensitivity to flow as does water today. So I feel that this could apply to both sides. The feminine have this little bit of a doubt and I noticed this. I felt like crying a little bit and releasing that tension. You know, 
it's telling you that if you are feeling a bit tense, you know, whenever you have doubts, take a bath, go into the ocean, um, just or cry and let it out. This doesn't mean you cry for days. This just means sometimes, especially women, if they're so frustrated, they sometimes just need to let it out. And once it's out, and they face their fears, their doubts, their concerns, they no longer have them holding you hostage. And that's what they're advising you to do. For the masculine as well, I mean, I know it's hard for the masculine to cry sometimes, but not always, but sometimes. But they've got so much, you know, conflicting energies going on that maybe they're just feeling so overwhelmed and they just need to let go. They need to release that. Whether it's to cry, whether it's to take a swim, whether it's to go by the water, that's what's going to help them soothe this so that they can get clarity, they can find some peace. It's telling us feeling deep sadness, having trouble emotional, emo expressing sadness and emotions to others, judging emotions as negative and denying them, refusing to cry, not drinking enough pure water, dehydrated, dry quality to life, judging tears and emotions as weak, and learning to let go, and, to need, and needing to connect more to the element of water and its flows. Feeling stuck and misjudged, a close friend can help and, help and find, find you nourishment or nourishing. So basically the advice is, to sort of let go, stop holding on to all your doubts and fears, let them go, even for the masculine, you're holding on to so much, you're holding on to so many conflicting energies and you're getting so overwhelmed and it's telling you, let go, take it out, let it out there, cry, take a bath, go for a swim, go to a friend, you know, ask for help, just let it out, even talk it out to your friends, you know, that's also very soothing to get the comfort and advice from a friend. So that is your advice, if you, that is what you need to do for making things become more clear for you from both sides. Regarding advice, you've got the fire friends, optimism slash aggression. So I'm going to read this from the book as well. The fire prince arrives as your ally. He lets you know that he represents the invisible forces behind all manner of manifestation and he brings you the gift of optimism. You will be rightly inspired. Oh, wow, I just realized this. The book we have, can you see that? It's 111. Excellent. You will be rightly inspired to move forward and take confident and assertive action to reach your goal. Envisioning the path of the highest good with an optimistic outlook, the Fire Prince also brings you the gift of a miracle. Things come together as if by magic to create the reality you seek. You have every reason to be hopeful. Move forward knowing that you have everything you need and more. Just remember to share your enthusiasm, believe in others and be optimistic for them too. And your good fortune will multiply. Beautiful. So your advice for union is A, let go of any emotional baggage that you're holding on, any fears, any doubts, cry it out, talk to a friend, let go. And it's telling you to be, be optimistic about your future both masculine and feminine don't let doubts come in the way don't get let your ego come in the way it's the ego that tries to protect us and creates all these doubts and fears and negative emotions stop letting that happen you can create you are an alchemist look at that you can create anything you want so be positive just focus on what you want as if you already have it and stop worrying about how and when and why and just remember you get everything you want so that is your reading for the first half of August. Once again, if you wish to, uh, if you wish to get updates from my channel, please do subscribe and leave me a comment. Um, do like my video, and um, if you wish to book a private reading, you can via my website. Um, I will be on vacation for ten days, uh, but I, uh, but I will try to get to all private readings as soon as possible because I will have my computer with me. So yeah, thank you so much and have a good week. Bye.